The earliest windows were merely holes cut into walls. People living in warm climates left them uncovered, while people in harsher climates used animal skins to keep out the cold. In the Far East, people covered the opening with paper. Then came glass. Now it's time to put windows in the frame. This type of window is called a casement window. A crank mechanism opens it at an angle. To build the window frame, the factory begins with 5 metre lengths of extruded PVC. As clamps hold the PVC steady, a computer-guided circular saw cuts the sizes required for the frame. The same machine also cuts the pieces for the sash, the inner frame around the glass. Each frame is made of four pieces, whose ends are mitred at a 45 degree angle. Eight pieces are loaded onto a computer-guided welding machine. Eight because it welds two frames at a time. First, a heating block whose temperature is 230 degrees Celsius melts the ends. Then the machine pushes them together. They fuse, forming the frame's four corners. Here's the same process viewed from above. As the melted ends bond under pressure, excess PVC oozes out at the joints, then hardens. The next machine will clean that up. A robot reads the profile of the specific frame style. Then it uses one of several cutting heads to shave the excess off the corners. From here, the sash and frame go to another area to receive hinges. Meanwhile, the glass is cut to size. A huge sheet measuring about 2 by 3 meters is laid on a specially designed table. A blower sends up air through tiny holes. This floats the glass just above the surface, making it easy to move around. The glass is scored using a sharp carbide cutting wheel. This window will have what's called a thermopane. Two panes of glass with argon gas in between for insulation. One of the panes has a transparent metallic coating to reflect the heat back into the house. A strip of silicon is fixed in place around the perimeter of the first pane. The foam is covered in a thin, strong polyester film to prevent the gas from leaking through. The strip is a spacer creating a one and a half centimetre gap between the two panes. A hole is cut at the top of the spacer and another at the bottom. This window features decorative grid work called muntin bars. They're made of aluminium and go between the two panes. Bars are put onto the first pane. Then a guide is used to line them up. Then the second pane is placed on top. It sticks to the exposed adhesive edge of the spacer. Now, the double pane glass goes through a press, whose rollers apply pressure to ensure a strong and thorough bond to the spacer. After the glass exits the press, argon gas is pumped through the hole at the bottom of the spacer. The speed of the gas flow is critical. If it's pumped too fast, it'll mix with the air in between the panes rather than push it through the hole at the top of the spacer. After plugging the holes, the spacer is coated in polyurethane sealant. This makes the thermo pane completely airtight. Now it's ready to go in the sash. A piece of PVC called the glazing stop holds it there. It's snapped in place using a roller. A little PVC cement to seal off any minuscule gaps in the corners. Then the sash goes into the window frame. Their respective hinge parts simply snap together. The last step is to snap the frame's crank arm onto the sash. And this window is ready for use. <laughs>